Angels 2023 season has not gone how anybody really expected. With players like Mike Trout being out with injury for a long time, Anthony Rendon being out with injury, their 2023 season did not go out really anybody expected. But there was one thing that stayed consistent, that was Shohei Otani. My boy carried their entire team to the point where they ended up buying at the trade deadline. But when you're carrying an entire franchise on your back, sometimes the weight gets a little too heavy. And unfortunately, Shohei ended up getting injured. It was Shohei Otani possibly going to a second Tommy John surgery. It's time to save him. And this is how we're going to do it. Welcome to the Wheel of Shohei Otani. On this wheel, we have every single team that I can realistically see I'm signing with this offseason. Let's go ahead and spin this and see what team is going to be saving Shohei Otani's entire career. And don't tell me. There's no way, dude. Oh my gosh. Of course. The rich stay getting richer. LA Dodgers. Let's go. And there we go. Dodgers officially signed Shohei Otani. It's actually so weird seeing Shohei Otani on a team with Mookie Betts, Freddie Freeman, Will Smith, all these great Dodgers. But he's here and he's ready to go. On the Dodgers, our main goals are one, win a World Series for Shohei Otani. Tani. Number two, continue to stack that trophy case and become the greatest player to ever live in baseball. And then number three, end up retiring and going into the Hall of Fame as a first ballot Hall of Famer. Unfortunately, though, since it looks like Shohei Otani is going to be getting Tommy John surgery, we're going to go ahead and put him in the bullpen. Basically not having him pitch all of 2024. He's still going to try to hit, which I really don't approve of. But hey, it is what it is. The Dodgers paid a lot of money for him. They want some production real quick. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. Let's see how good Shohei Otani can do with a team that actually seems to care about him a little bit. At the trip line right now in year one the Dodgers 74 and 34 and since the Dodgers are in a big position to actually buy players at the trade line I think it's about time we actually do that because right now third base is looking a little bit rough and left field is looking a little rough and for the first trade we're going to the Cardinals and getting Dylan Carlson so Dylan welcome to LA baby also the guy was born in California so my bad welcome home I do feel bad for this next trade but there have been so many rumors of it happening so I would not be surprised in the future if it does end up going down Nolan Arenado from the Cardinals again coming back home to California and welcome to the Dodgers, baby. Now with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and get to the end of the year and let's see how good we can possibly do. And there we go, Dodgers 103 and 59. In one single season, we got Shohei Otani something that he's never gotten in his entire career. Our boy is finally gonna be playing the postseason. Real quick, how did he do? Oh my gosh, how the heck is he actually this good? Awards real quick, Shohei Otani got the Hank Aaron Award, which is weird to see because his position right now is starting pitcher, but he still did it. Hank Aaron Award going to the pitcher. Otani in his first year in the National League also won the NL. MVP beating out his own teammate Mookie Betts and Ronald Acuna Jr. And the batting title goes to Luis. Yo, congrats, Luis. Let's go, baby. Year one with the Dodgers. He's already achieved so much. Let's see if he can finally add that World Series ring to his finger. Come on. NLDS versus the Padres. Julio Arias versus Brad Keller. Game one. We won that six to two. Dustin May up next versus Blake Snell. Lost that by five. Oh, God, Dustin. Bobby Miller up next versus Joe Musgrove. There we go. Back to it. Julio, I need a great game out of you right here. Yes, dude. That's what I'm looking for right there. Now, on to the NLCS versus the Braves. Game one versus the Braves is Tom Dustin May versus Spencer Strider. Won that one 12 to 2, baby. Let's go. Julio up next versus Max Freed. Won that 3 to 1. Come on, dude. Bobby Miller, I need a great game of the versus Kyle Wright. There we go. 8 nothing. And then Emmett, your first ever postseason appearance. Let it be great versus Spencer Strider. There we are, dude. Come on. Game one of the World Series coming up now. We have the potential after these next seven games to put a ring on Otani's finger. And finally, put him down in the history books as a World Series champion. Beating out his old teammate, Mike Trout, for his first ever World Series ring. That's going to be insane if we could do it. It all starts with Dustin May, though. So come on, Dustin. I need a big game out of you. 2-1. Oh, my gosh. And oh, no. Don't tell me. There's no way he got cleared. Dude, he's going to pitch in the World Series for Shane McClanahan. Oh, my. Come on. We can't not go in this game. I mean, for real. We can't not do it. Oh, Tani, do exactly what you do with the Angels. Just carry their entire team. That is all we're going to need. And Shane is pitching a freaking gem right now. And two runs double off of Shohei in his first yeah, okay all right Shohei you might be done you might be freaking done after giving up five runs in the top of the fifth we ended up getting one back but it's still not good enough so I need our boys to okay well Yandy probably just hit the nail in the coffin not exactly the game that I wanted for Shohei as we end up losing seven to one seeing this at home by the way does hurt like crazy but I'm sure we're gonna come back tomorrow even better now going to Tampa Luis Arias versus Drew Rasmussen for game three won that one three to one now Bobby Miller versus Jeffrey Springs won that three to one again and then Shohei back up. I'm going to do the smart thing. I'm not going to let him pitch. I don't think he's ready just yet. We're going to go ahead and pitch Dustin May in such a crazy pivotal game, and we're going to let Shohei Otani do what he does best, which is hit right now. The dude is the MVP from the plate in the National League. We got to let him hit. We cannot let him bother pitching. Next year when he wants to pitch, I'm down for it. But let's go ahead and take this World Series in Tampa right here, right now. And in a do or die game, the Razor throw in Tyler Glass now on the mound, and he's already got his down 0-2. He is not going to be easy to hit off of this game. I need a great pitch from Oppenheimer, right? Oh my gosh. 
gosh, that was disgusting. Here we go again. This is the revenge I'm talking about. Top of the sixth, tie game, 2-2. I need a great pitch like that right there, baby. Let Shohei do what he does best, and that's clutch up. We took Tyler Glass now yard to end up leading in the World Series, 3-2. Here we go again. After Homer in the last at bat, they ended up taking out Tyler Glass now and replacing him with Andrew Kittridge. And in the top of the eighth, we got a two-run lead already. I wanted to win Shohei Otani's. Ooh, that's a rope down the line. We're going to go two. Why not? I wanted to win Shohei Otani's first ever ring in Los Angeles, but it turns out we're going to end up taking it in Tampa, hopefully. I just need Nolan to hit me home as he's one for 19 in the World Series. Okay, bro. Let's go ahead and heat up right here right now, please. Ooh, that's going to be up the middle, but it's still caught by Brenda Lau. Dang it. That still gets us over to third, though, for Will Smith. So it's not the end of the world. Let's go, Will. Just give us a little bit of insurance right here, baby. Right here. Yes. Five to two now with that Will Smith RBI. That should be good enough. Is it going to be? Yes, it is, baby. There we go. In the first year in the National League, Shohei Otani won the Hank Aaron Award, the MVP, and now a World Series title. Raise the trophy, Dodgers. We deserve it. Let's go. Awards. How did I know? Shohei Otani got the World Series MVP and the playoff MVP. This dude won three separate MVP awards and a World Series ring this year. Also, real quick, if it wasn't obvious, he also won a Silver Slugger this year. Now, let's go ahead and keep this thing going. Season two of the Dodgers coming in right now. Let's see if they ended up getting anybody in the offseason. And oh my gosh, they did. Max Freed coming in now from the Braves. How the heck did we afford him? There's no way that this team is still making money. And oh my gosh, they are. I guess the Dodgers just have an infinite budget that I had no idea about. But hey, congrats. This is going to be a huge year for Shohei Otani because he's finally back as the ace of the Dodgers right now. Did we do it? Please. No, we didn't. But still, 111 games won this year. Shohei. Oh my gosh, bro. How can you keep leveling up? I don't understand. After two Tommy John surges, my dude's still going crazy. Awards real quick. We got to take a look. Dude, come on. Just the GOAT. Sighing Award, Shohei Otani. Let's go. Hank Aaron Award, Shohei Otani for the second time in the NL. And then the second straight NL MVP for Shohei Otani. Bro, keep going. 292, 55 home runs, and 154 RBIs. Also, just casually went 21 and 8 with a 2.68 with 266 strikeouts. Let's get going back in the postseason. Let's get it. What do we got? Arizona up first. Shohei Otani versus Zach Gallon for game one of the NLDS. Won that one 1 0. -oh. Still pitched a great game, though. Game two. Julio versus Zach. Please, Zach. Won that 11 0. Then Dustin May versus Brandon. Brandon, I'm sorry, bro. Never mind. I'm not sorry. Jonathan Lasagna screwed this thing up for us. Shohei back up again. Please just take it right here. There we are. Now back to the NLCS versus the Cubs. Julio versus Shane Bieber. Won that 8 2. Shohei versus Casey Mize. Wow. Still got it, though. 2 0. Dustin May looking to make it 3 0. And he does. The Max Freed, his first ever postseason appearance for the Dodgers, right here. Somehow in the middle of the NLCS, we've waited this long to use him. But Max, let's go. And I can see why. 4 to 11 with a 10 ERA. Sick job, dude. Julio running back versus Ben Brown. There we go. Back to the World Series and back to back seasons. Take it on Texas now. Oh, Tony versus Nathan Evaldi. Lost that by four. Oh, God. All right, Evaldi. Didn't mean to do you like that. Julio versus Tyler. I need a big comeback game here. And there we go. Oh, my gosh. Barely won that. Dustin versus Jacob DeGrom. Lost that by one. Not great. Max Fried versus Jack Flaherty. There we go. 2 2. Shohei versus Dane Dunning. How the heck did we lose that Dane Dunning, bro? This is bad. Julio versus Nathan Ovaldi. We got to go in. And already, top of the first, Adolis takes us yard for a two run bomb. Jung as well. Okay, bro. Stop it. Stop it, guys. We got to stop the bleeding as Freddy does it for us right there. Keep going. And we can't. That's one back, though. That's not bad. Let's keep it going a little bit. There we go. Two guys on for Shohei. Single runner got thrown out. Freddy, come on, baby. It was choice. Not good. Mookie hitting a 168, by the way, or 161 for Mookie Betts. Mookie now hitting 158 in the postseason. You got to wake up right here, right now, Mookie, please. Nolan, please fly out Elias Diaz, who we just all of a sudden have now. Single. There we go. And it is Santander. Single. There we go. Dylan, be the hero. Truck out. Never mind. Two straight singles from Julio. You are done, my boy. I'm just throwing Evan Phillips out there now. Just get out of the inning, and he does beautifully. A mid with the walk to start the inning. Luis, Phillips choice. Shohei. Two run home run to take the lead. There we go. Coming up clutch again when this team needs them the most as Adolis also hits a bomb. They tie it back up. Come on, guys. Just please. Just please. There we go, Anthony. Evan, I just need one more inning, baby. Ground out. There we go. We stay alive in a game seven of the World Series. Game seven. I didn't think that we were actually going to achieve more than what we did last year, but now we're in the biggest game of our entire career. We've already won the World Series in our career, but now we have the chance to go back to back. The only person in our way is one of the greatest pitchers, Jacob DeGrom. And the guy's back and healthy for the Rangers, so this is not a good sign. But we've already got the three off of Jacob DeGrom. I got the green light. I am going for it right here. Go. He threw that 102. We take it deep. There we are, Shohei. Doing what we do best right there, and that is blasting home runs out to Mars. Let's go, baby. All right, let's stay 
Jake Tom, 1-1. One, one. Let's get it going. That's a beautiful pitch. That's fine. Straight through the hole at second base, and we are on with the single. The bottom of the seven, Jacob DeGrom is out of there, and we're winning six to one right now. We got such a nice chance. Let's add this insurance real quick if we could do it. Power swing. Oh my God. Perfect, perfect. And there we go, Shohei. Back to back World Series titles. We're two years now with the Dodgers, and now we have two World Series rings. And tell me he did it again. Never mind. Elias Diaz with the World Series MVP. Good for you. And Freddy with the playoff MVP. Also, I just want to point out super quick. Shohei Otani has been the league leader in home runs the past three seasons in a row. Across both leagues, he's at 51, 47, and 55. This dude is doing things that nobody has really ever done in the history of baseball. Year three coming in, and the game is giving us second in rank somehow. I think it's time we go for that three-peat. Let's see how the heck we do. Dodgers, I need you to be on point all year. And there we go again. 108 and 54. Otani, his second straight sign award coming back from his second Tommy John. The Hank Aaron Award going to Will Smith. I love to see that. There we go. And there it is. Shohei Otani three-peating on the National League MVP. How is he this good? And Will Smith getting the batting title. There you go. 289, 49 home runs at 138 RBIs. Again, if nobody in the AL has more than 49 home runs, he is for the fourth straight season the home run champion. There's no way. Like, Aaron Judge had to break that, right? Come on. Oh my gosh, no way. Four straight seasons of Shohei Otani being the best home run hitter in baseball. He's also, by the way, 20 and 2 with a 2.41 ERA with 247 strikeouts. And yeah, what a surprise. Three straight Silver Sluggers. Back again to familiar territory. Shohei Otani versus Spencer Strider in the Braves in the NLDS. Let's get it going, Shohei. Come on, baby. Four to three. There you go. Perfect start. That's the main now versus Jonathan. One, that one's six to five. Julio, please just destroy Aaron Nola. Come on, baby. There we go. But it's still by one. I do not like how close the games are. Otani versus Hunter Green in the Reds now. One out. Oh my gosh. Just shut him out completely. That's the main game versus Nick Lodolo. Lost that by one. I don't like that at all. Dustin May has an 11 ERA now. Keep it going, Julio. Bring it back a little bit. There we go. Eight to seven. Again, one run games. Stop it. Max Freed. Lost by one. What is happening? Otani. There we are. Finally, five run win. Then Dustin May, please don't screw it up right here. Lost by one. You're out of your mind. Julio versus Rhett Louder for game seven of the NLCS. After three straight singles, I don't like this. I do not need us getting shut out like we are. And he got out of the inning. So good. But guys, we are still getting shut out. Bottom of the seventh. We got to make a comeback right here. Like, I don't know what we have to do to keep going, but Rhett Louder has put us in a blender. So, Shohei, you're two for two so far. Two for three. Not exactly. I need you to get a hit right there, bro. Mookie Betts. Ground out. Nolan Arenado. Single. There we go. There we are. Will Smith. Double. There we are. Freddy. For all time's sake, just do it big right here. Oh, my God. Struck out. How does Freddy strike out? He never strikes out. And Jonathan India hit a solo bomb. Oh, my gosh. Anthony Santander, please. Please, bro. Please. Fly out. No. James, please. No. Ahmed. Oh my God. How the heck did we choke that as I'm wearing a Reds hat? Rhett Louder, why the heck did you do that to us? Five walks, by the way. You had no business winning that game. Coming in this year, we are still first in rank, second in contact, seventh in power. Wow, but first in pitching. We still lost Julio Urias, unfortunately, one of our best pitchers. But who the heck did the Dodgers replace him with? Freddy Peralta. Okay, I'm actually down with that. Year four, things are getting a little bit harder in the NL, it looks like. 99 and 63, which is, again, still crazy for the Dodgers. But we did not break 100 for the first time in a while. So that makes me think the competition heating up just a little bit. Oh, Tani, how we do? I swear. Dude, oh my. How? Three straight signing awards. How are you doing this? He's also back winning the Hank Aaron Award. He won his fourth straight MVP. Our boy hit 50 home runs again this year. 131 RBIs and a 314 on the average. I just got to know home runs. He beat Brandon Lau by 10. But with the AL, is he going to get his fifth straight home run championship? Let's see. Juan Soto. No. Let's get to the postseason though. And let's go ahead and get back to where we deserve to be at World Series. Arizona first and the Diaz, Shohei Otani versus Brandon. One thousand four to two. Beautiful job. And the rest of the series was an absolute breeze as we took the Diamondbacks 3-0. Now onto the NLCS. Back again versus the Braves. Otani, I need you to channel those sighing awards right here, right now. Oh my goodness. Still did it. Bobby Miller game two. Won that as well. That's a May game three. Won that. The Max Freed. Oh my gosh. I wanted the 4 so bad. Otani, do it right here. Or not. Okay, lost by one. Bobby, do it right here. Or not. There's no way. Don't tell me the Dodgers are going to go back to their old ways. Dustin May in the first two batters of the game, there's already a run in for the Braves. This is not good pace for us. I need this to come out hot and swinging as the bases are already loaded for Will Smith. Please, Will. Sack fly. That's good enough. Freddie Freeman. Oof. Okay. Freddie Freeman over these past two years has really taken a fat step back. So we got to make sure our boy is still going to be doing okay. Because if not, as Kyle Tucker hits a home run, like I was saying, if not, it might be time for us to move on. Let's get this thing back though. We tied the game. We got two guys on Shohei Otani right here. Struck out. Not what I like to see. Mookie, please. 
points. Oh my gosh, wasted opportunity. And in the top of the seventh, of course, our bullpen gave up two runs, which is not good. But right now, we got the opportunity with Shohei Otani to solidify this World Series run. And if we end up winning this, we're gonna be meeting the Guardians in the World Series. But with one out in the bottom of the seventh, we gotta get us there first. Otani, I need a great little shot out of you, and that's good. But I don't think that's gonna be good enough. We might be able to tag up. That should be the tying run, and it is. Okay, 4-4. Four, four. If only that carried just a little bit more, but never mind. Will Smith, he's going to be the hero of the game. We just got to hope that this bullpen can keep the lead. Come on, guys. Ryan in here now with two guys on versus Michael Harris. Okay, got one. I just need one more. Just need one more, Ryan. Come on, baby. There we are. Let's get some insurance in here. There we are, guys. That's what I like to see. That's one. Ryan, we just need three straight right now. Ozzy Albies. That's a double and a run scored. No. Austin Riley, get out. Strike out. There we go. Matt Olson, get out. Two runs home run are you serious right now the dodger bullpen never fails now we got zach jackson coming in here for shohei otani down by one in the bottom of the ninth they have a 76 percent win percentage we cannot let this happen we got to put the entire team in the back right here right now that's not it dude that's not it why why did i go for that the dodger bullpen continues to be a huge problem for us going forward as the braves put up three runs in the top of the ninth and we got a big year coming up in the offense it looks like we're gonna be losing out on Freddie Freeman and Nolan Arenado. Two gigantic shoes that the Dodgers got to fill in this offseason. Let's see who they end up getting. 2028 now. After two straight years of heartbreak, we're looking for something better. The Dodgers had a lot they had to do this offseason. Let's hope and pray they had a good one. And who the heck are these guys? I think I'm in the middle on this. I love the addition of Bobby Witt. I love the addition of Andrew Vaughn. Nick Castellanos, though, the guy's 36 years old. I don't exactly love that. And the last three guys in this team, we have Larry Kaplan, Kurt Flynn, and Logan Wagner. All three 70 overalls. This is going to be an interesting year. In the bullpen, though, we did end up getting Emmanuel Class A. That is a huge upgrade. So let's see what happens this year. This is also one of the biggest years for Shohei Otani's entire career because if he can win the MVP this year, he breaks Barry Bonds' record. Barry Bonds is one of the only people in baseball besides Shohei Otani now to have four straight MVP years. And if Shohei can win five straight, he breaks that MLB record. And wow, I knew that there was something off about this year, but we still finish off great. 98 and 64. But for the first time, we're going to be in the wild card series taking on the giants out of all teams that is so insane awards real quick though this is the big one if Shohei Otani wins the mvp right here he's made baseball history Shohei Otani with another hank aaron award logo wagner with the nl rookie of the year there we go and Shohei Otani with that mvp baby five straight national league mvps for Shohei Otani also came in third for the sign award i mean like what can this guy not do also he's had to have broken a record with the silver slugger because that's his fifth straight silver slugger let's get this wild card series underway versus the giants Otani a game one Logan Webb won that six to five Bobby Miller versus Cal Quantrill lost that and then Dustin May versus Ryan lost to the Giants wow dude what the heck is happening with this team right now year six I'm still surprised we're doing this good I'll be honest 101 and 61 we're back at the top of the division taking on the winner of the wild card series and again is this the year that Shohei Otani breaks even more records let's take a look baby come on oh he did it he freaking did it six straight years of Shohei Otani being the National League MVP still a fantastic year to Shohei Otani even though now he's 34 years old. Minus sixes across the board. And he is, oh gosh, this is not good. This really is not good, guys. Mookie Betts also is a 78 overall now, a 36. This Dodgers team is heading to a weird place very quickly. As going up in the NLDS right now, we got the Rockies coming in for the first time ever. Bobby Miller versus Jose, lost that by two. Shohei Otani versus David, lost that by two. Dustin May, okay, finally won one. Maddox versus Nick Lodolo, lost to the freaking Rockies. Year seven, let's get this thing going. Let's get farther than the stupid NLDS this year. Can we please do that? And unfortunately, year seven is gonna be no different than any other year, it seems like, because immediately in the wildcard series, we end up losing one to two to the stupid Braves, bro, come on. But it didn't stop Shohei Otani from being the seventh straight National League MVP. The dude's been the MVP for 70% of a decade. Year eight, and dude, Shohei's an 86 overall now. He's still putting so many great seasons. I mean, seven time MVP winner for the National League. So this year's going to be a make or break year for this team. Either we're going to be continuing to win or Shohei Otani is going to be a 70-something overall by the end of this year. Unfortunately, there's no in between, so we got to hope for the best. Oh my gosh, Dodgers. There's no way we actually... Oh, okay. All right. Well, 75 and 87. Finally missing the postseason for the first time since Shohei's been in Dodger blue. This makes me so nervous. Shohei, where the heck are you? First off, awards. Did not win an MVP. Now I'm really nervous. Didn't even come in the top three, dude. Don't. No, 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 no. Shohei, 74 overall. 
overall. Come on. This is not good. They've even kicked him out of the lineup too. I'm scared for the next couple of years to come. I think he's done. Our teammate Nolan Arenado goes to the Hall of Fame. So that's so nice to see. But I feel like us with Shohei, we're going to be on our way very soon. Here now with the Dodgers. And all I want is one more deep postseason push with Shohei Otani. That's it. If we can get that, I'll be so happy. But it's not looking like it. Oh my gosh. We're only 34 and 31. Oh, geez. This year was a little bit better, but we still did not make it in the postseason. So Shohei, you're my biggest question mark. Where the heck are you now, dude? And he's 69 overall. <laughs> you for real cannot make this up. 7.3 ERA and did not even get a single pitch at the plate. He was only a crappy reliever this year. I would not be surprised if Shohei's not going to be on the team next year, just straight up. The Dodgers again in 2033 finish off this year 81 and 81. Somehow coming in second in the NL West. Wow, this entire division fell off so bad. But Shohei, I got to see. How'd you do, baby? Please tell me our guy came back a little bit. He was a 69 the last time we saw him. So Shohei, where are you at? Nah, he's not even on the team, bro. He's gone. No. Bro, where the heck is he at? I can't even look it up. We have to get out of the offseason. I got to know where this guy went to. If he went to anywhere. As the Royals beat the Marlins in the World Series. I am. Dude, what is happening? We are at the retirements right here. And there are a lot of guys. Francisco Lindor, Manny Machado. All these guys are leaving. I haven't even gotten down to the O's yet, but I'm nervous. Please don't tell me. Please. No. Otani. Come on, dude. It's been a great career, though. 39 years old. 14 years of only service time. I wish it could have been longer. Ended off at a 64 overall. And here are the stats for our boy Shohei Otani. From the pitching end, had 152 wins with 77 losses. Had one save in his entire career. Had 2,093 innings. Gave up a total of 785 earned runs. Had 713 walks. Had 2,319 strikeouts throughout his entire career. Had a career ERA of 3.38. Also had a pitching war of 40.9. Absolutely insane. And now hitting wise, here we go. Out of 2,043 games, our guy had 2,214 hits. Had 486 doubles. Had 84 triples. Had 527 home runs. 1,487 RBIs. 208 stolen bases. And a career average of .287. Along with a batting war of 69.6. Not to mention seven straight MVPs and all the rest of the wars he ended up winning. Plus two World Series rings. Guys, I think we saved his career. There's only one thing left. Did he make it to the Hall of Fame? If he didn't, I'm spiking coach. I got to see his name. Come on, Shohei. No, he got snubbed. There's no way they snubbed him. Seven straight MVPs. You can't even make it there. That is not happening on my watch. Coach, you piece of garbage.